All right, you guys, so I have my wig right here. It has a comb at the top, two combs on the side, one on each side, and then it has one comb as the bottom. And of course, it has the headband part with the elastic strap. One thing to note about this elastic strap, it does not cover the entire part. So this part is like a little square, but this part is huge. So yes, you can put it like here, 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 here. But I would have thought I thought it would have been nice if this was, you know, more, more of this, so I could put it over the whole thing. Okay, so I do have a curly one of these, and I have not worn this wig out yet. This is going to be my first time wearing it, putting it on for you guys on camera. One thing that does get annoying with these wigs is that um, after you've Velcroed it a couple times, right now mine is still nice and neat. It will start looking very, very like raggedy and trashy. But if that happens to you, you can always take this off and replace it. But if you're lazy like me, I just literally like tie it in the back instead of Velcro. Like that's just what I do. Okay. I also have friends who've gotten these wigs and they do not have combs at the top. They only have it on the sides and in the very back. Why did they come like that? I don't know. But I do like the comb at the top because it gives super, super security. But do be careful when you're putting this on because it can tug at your hair at any of the combs. And we don't want that. We don't want that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my head scarf. I did my edges as best as I could. So this is my edges. I always want my edges to be like laid when I have my wigs on because that's what's going to give it like the pizzazz. Um, if you're curious to see how I style my natural hair underneath my wig because I have this humongous afro um, outside of these wigs. If you are not new to my channel, you've seen my hair videos, you know my hair is pretty long and pretty big. Okay. So, let's just go ahead and put this bad boy on. Okay. So, I like to go ahead and start with my clip at the front and put it in. The reason I don't do back to front is because the front clip will start to tug on your hair. So, if you put the clip in in the back and then pull it up over, it will be like snagging, tugging. But if you put it in place where you want it to be at the front, then all you do is like lay it back. Sometimes you might want to place it where your cap is at. So all you have to do is push that cap back a little bit and then place it. So I'm gonna push mine in right there. It's in. And then on the side, I have my clips right here. My cap is in the way a little bit. Now you can make it come all the way up here, but I like my edges to be out just a little bit. But there it is. It's all the way in there. Gonna go to the opposite side. Slide that comb in. And so the front part is done, honey. The front part is done. But I'm gonna go in the back. going to slide my headband out and velcro the back the 
this is what the wig looks like. Um, I like my edges to be a little more out, like I said. So a lot of the times I just go ahead and, especially with my curly one, I just flip this back. And then, there it is. It's nice and styled. It's flat. So putting on the wig, you guys, is super, super simple. Um, I do not sleep with it at night. Could you? Absolutely. But I just be taking mine out, y'all. I'll be taking it out. This wig did come with some headbands. And since I've gotten the wig, I've been picking up headbands because I really like solid color headbands. And so I'm just going to show you guys how to style it by including the headbands. So literally, you take a headband, you make sure you do not mess up those edges, okay? And you want to just pull it up. Everything is in place and the wig is very undetectable. Honestly, one of the best creations made. So easy to style your hair. My hair is protected underneath. And I like you. 